Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, give me one quick second. I was worried um, something might have went wrong with my settings. Give me one quick second. Okay, sorry about that. Everything's good. I thought something went wrong, but I think it was just like the sound effect from the wind blowing. All right, anyway, so let's get going. So here we go. Old schoolhouse. Come to think of it, isn't Georgia down on the seventh floor? I still got a while before Elise arrives. Maybe I should take him to something. Take him something to eat. All right, uh, descend to seven floor. So let's let's do this. Elise should be close now, so I better see Georgia head back up before she gets here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, we're actually exploring. Um, should I go ahead and just sit and rest up? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so if I remember, that's the portal, right? Realm of the Great Shell. We should just go. <laughs> Damn it. It's dangerous to go this way right now. <laughs> no, we're going to solo it with Reen. <laughs> actually, oh, George should be down in the bottom. Floor. Oh, okay, so we actually can't even talk. walk, walk up to that. Okay, let's go. Ah, okay, so here's Crow and George. Interesting. <clears throat> hey there, guys. Oh, what's up, Breen? I see Curiosity got the better of you, too, eh? <laughs> no helping then, I guess. I wonder if maybe you found out anything about it. Oh, I brought you a little something to eat, too. <laughs> oh, thanks. I was just thinking I could use a little sugary pick-me-up to get my brain back on track. <laughs> ah, this is that new dark cherry pie I've heard about. It's supposed to be delicious, and really filling, too. Thanks. Feeling all fired up now. <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny to see him eat that. Alright, here we go. You really seem taken with this thing, huh? Can't say I blame you, though. It is kind of cool looking, guys. Alright, yeah. it really It's really amazing. Whatever it is. So, what do we do? So, what do we do? <coughs> Damn it. Okay, sorry. So, what do we know so far? Glad you asked. The deeper I look into it, the more fascinating it seems. It's not just a statue or anything like that. You can see those joints. This thing's clearly capable of movement. And on top of that, it's made of, well, something I can hardly even begin to describe. Some unknown metal, then. It's definitely not iron, and it's not one of those recently discovered special alloys, either. It's some kind of fiendishly strong material that has projectiles of both metals and ceramics. If you knew how to manufacture it, you'd rake in so much money and make your head spin. Well, it sure as hell ain't Gundanium, <laughs> that's for sure. Wow. You think there's a possibility that it might be an ancient, uh, ancient artifact? You mean like, something from the era before the Septian calendar? I can't- <coughs> Excuse me. I can't rule out the possibility, but in this case, my gut's telling me no. Artifacts are like black boxes. Not only do we not know what they're made from, we don't even know how they were made. This thing at least shows signs it was put together by some ex exceptionally skilled craftsmen and engineers. You can see it most clearly. You can see it most clear, ugh, clearly in the or. God damn it! I can't read today. Um, you can see it most clearly in the ornamental joint. Uh, whatever. It's, it's in the joints. Okay. Ah, I see what you're talking about. <coughs> Still, that basically sums up everything I do know. I got no idea what, when it was made or who it could even have built it. It'd help if we could at least figure out something about whoever piloted it, but no such luck there. Piloted? You're telling me someone's actually supposed to crawl inside this thing? The measurements I've taken seem to in indicate a hollow area in the chest, and it's just the right size to accommodate a single person. If I could just find some way to get it open... Man, it's hard to imagine that some crazy person used to strap themselves inside this thing and run around. Jellica would be happier than a pig in a mud hole if she could see this. <laughs> yeah, that'd certainly be an upgrade from the motorcycle, or, or, uh, orbital bike. <laughs> no doubt about that. <clears throat> it's not looking like she'll be able to make it to the festival, though. It's sad things ended up the way they did. Hey, hey, don't you guys go getting all weepy on me now. Still morning. I'll bet she'll just turn up, 
turn oh, god damn it sorry it's still morning i'll bet she'll turn just turn up out of nowhere this afternoon like nothing even happened sorry guys i don't know why i can't read today Ugh. then she'll waltz right into the after party and round up all the hottest bays for herself <sighs> again <laughs> still sore are we it feels like so long ago now hard to believe that was just last year you're right though it's hard to imagine her just staying put when she knows there's a party going on I mean, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, but this is Angie we're talking about. Heh, <laughs> you got that right. But hey, the festival's in full swing. We should be seeing the sights, not poking down around down here. What do you say the three of us cruise the campus and see if we can score some honeys? <laughs> no can do. My scissors should be showing up soon, and I promise I show her around. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Alright, have fun. I think I'll pass on the honey hunting, but I guess it's a good time to pack it in for today. I don't want to miss your, your concert later. Been looking forward to seeing what you've been practicing all this time. <coughs> well, I hope we don't disappoint. Whew. All right, then. So here's... Whoa, whoa. Oh, we actually walked that far, huh? Cool. Can I attack it? <laughs> oh, man. That'd be hilarious. We attacked it and then, like, anti <laughs> defensisms online. <laughs> all right, George. Thanks for the pie. It was delicious. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. <coughs> I ordered a few too many of these the other day. Mind taking a few off of my hands? What? Ooh! Free items. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Hey, no problem. Good luck up there on stage. Anything else? Oh, okay. We can actually do some stuff. Alright, I might be a bit... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I might be a bit... <coughs> <coughs> I'm okay. Alright, so. I might be a bit out of my death here, but that's not going to stop me from trying to figure this thing out. It's not like it's going to jump up and run away or anything. It's completely out of orbital energy. Which also makes no sense, since it looks like it should be perfectly functional. Either way, I'll be taking a proper look at it once the festival's over. Thanks for the pie. It was just what I needed. Good luck with your concert, too. Should be fun. And what about Crow? Anyway, I'm just glad they didn't can the festival in the end. We still got plenty of time until the concert, so go out and have some fun. Get yourself pumped for it. <laughs> Maybe I will. Anything else? Okay. So, oh wait, before we go back, obviously, um, let me double check. So we had the Zermarian Orb, right? Yeah, we had three, so we can actually make one. So let's talk to George. Uh, modify. No, it wasn't modify, was it? Yeah. Um, not sl sorry. Uh, exchange? No? Okay. So it was customized weapon. Here we go. Let's make it. All right. So <coughs> All right, we already have this one. And we have this one for uh, Laura. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do this for Fee. Wait, where's Fee? This one, right? Vert Vende? Or Ver Vert Venti, sorry. All right, so let's make it. Nice. All right, so I think that was it, right? Yep, those are all the weapons. Equip, so we go to Fee for a quick second. Yep, so we cherry in the Black Raid. Oh, yeah, 10% causes death. I remember that, but... Now we have her with this thing, so it should be pretty damn good. Look at her stats now, look at that. 1138, speed is pretty high, 118, evasion is 15, and range is a plus 1. Not bad, not bad at all. <clears throat> if there's one thing I do wish we could have done, was um, increase the range for certain characters. Because I know, um, I talked about this many times in the comment section too, that like for Reen, like for Reen Laura, and like other like melee weapon users, their range is only like a spur specific limit like uh for guys he has like the lo longest right like three range oh no okay her and milliam and obviously gunners have the hi highest range but like in terms of like melee weapons i wish it was i wish he could increase it just by a bit oh well i mean whatever what happens happens uh anyway so let's see shop oh we got those master quartz yep these are the same um ornaments oh no not ornaments exchange i think we can get money right hold on no. Wait, what the? Wait, are we exchanging for money or? I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll ignore it for now. We'll, we'll do it later. Um, I think that's it, right? All right, guys. So we are done here. So I guess we can just go back. We got we got a new weapon for fee, and that's all that really matters, huh? So I guess we take the teleporter. <coughs> yep, exit old school house. All right, so now I guess we just have to find Elise, if that's what all the talk was.
are almost 10 a.m., which means at least should be here any minute now. Might be good to come. Might be good to make my way over to the front gate and wait for her. Okay, good. Let's get out of this uh, very, very quiet area too. The wind is like, the wind speaks to me, and it says to get the get the hell out of here <laughs> and go find my sister before she kills me. <laughs> Okay, so I don't think anything's changed much, right? Wait, hold on. What was that? <coughs> okay, so we just gotta go to the main gate. Alright, cool. So I think we're done, huh? Yep, there. Okay, let's do this. Gotta make progress. Also, in, in the case we do watch the concert in this specific part, let's, um... I guess... I lost my train of thought again. Alright, whatever. Alright, there's a lease. Let's just do this. Um, oh, okay, sorry, I remember now. So if this part does have the concert um, scene that we're about to watch, um, this part will go on a bit longer. Just to put it out there, that's all. All right, let's do this. Hello, Elise. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, Reen. <clears throat> Is something the matter? You look awfully tired. Did something happen? Uh, you know, saving the world... Defeating the giant demon monster in front of the un, uh, in under the old schoolhouse. Same old, same old. <laughs> you can tell, huh? I was running all over yesterday. Mainly rehearsals for our concert today and some other tests last night. <laughs> tests during the festival. <coughs> they certainly don't go easy on you here. Actually, uh, I just also I forgot to point this out before talking to her. Uh, my friend did say I think we actually do save before the concert, so. If we actually go a bit longer, I, I might actually just split the part and then start the uh, concert scene fresh, you know? That way nothing gets interrupted. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. Maybe you should go get some rest. You have your concert coming up this afternoon after all. That's true. I can look around on my own just fine. Though, honestly, if you're not feeling well, I'd rather take care of you. <laughs> Something to worry yourself over, really. <sighs> Nah, I got enough sleep last night to keep me going strong today. If I tried to rest now, it might actually sap my energy. Besides, you came all the way to, out from Hyndar to visit. I'd rather spend the day with you instead. I can only hang out until noon, though. After that, we got our final prep for the concert. Green. <laughs> well, if you insist. If you want to keep me company that much, I'd be happy to oblige. <laughs> What should we see first, then? Hmm. Oh, maybe we could start with Class 2's indoor garden. How's that sound? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we walked around the academy together, and I showed her all the different attractions on display. <coughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, we're going to every- all the, uh, attractions, huh? On campus? <laughs> Alright, so that's the Garten. And then... Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> this is kind of funny. <clears throat> Alright, what's next? Oh, Blade. And <laughs> Rufus won. And the Father won too. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> <clears throat> Alright, so that was Blade. So next is Mishy Panic, right? Oh, okay, no, the horse riding. Gotcha. Oh, Crow and George. Oh, okay, and Hora and Gaius. Cool. Just chatting it up. Alright. This is what we live for, guys. We see these touching moments in RPGs. Alright. I took Elise around on a grand tour of the festival. We stopped by all the big class attractions. Bumped into a lot of my classmates and their families. And even ran into Instructor Sarah in a couple of st second years. By the time we finished seeing everything and chatting with everyone, the morning was nearly over. Whew. And... 
Oh, okay. Wait, why don't I get the feeling we're gonna meet Patrick at some point? Because so far we haven't seen him yet, and I'm assuming they're gonna make us talk to him. Because <laughs> we all know how he feels about Elise, in a sense. Of course, as Big Brother, we're not gonna let him. Sh Schwarzer? Speak of the devil. <laughs> Patrick? Oh, looks like Celestin's out enjoying the festival's festivities too. I believe you are a son of the High Arms family. <clears throat> Lady Elise, you're looking simply splendid today. I was hoping you might be able to make it. How utterly heartless of you not to tell me she'd be visiting. Is that any other <coughs> way to treat your bosom, bo bosom buddy? Your dear friend? Sorry. <coughs> Wait, when did we become dear friends? A good day to you, Miss Master Reen. And you must be his younger sister, who I've heard so much about. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer. It's good to see you well, Lord Patrick. P please, please, there's no need for such formalities between us. Just call me Patrick. Just call you Patrick, don't worry, you son of a... <laughs> Reen's just probably fumming. He's like, the son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, I know. Why don't we take this opportunity to stroll the campus to get the... <laughs> Schwarzer, what are you doing? What problem could you possibly have with my taking this chance to foster good relations between our families? See, that's all well and good, but Elise hasn't made her debut into high society quite yet. Which means it's her it's her brother's duty to shoo away the unwanted past. Reen. Gah, must you always be such a tyrant when it comes to your sister? <laughs> Come along, Master Patrick. It would be unseemly to disrupt such a beautiful display of familial de dedication. And there are still s preparations to be made for the operetta, so I suggest we depart to tend to those soon. Oh, that's the bell. So that means it's afternoon now, right? Since we're in the morning. A bell? <laughs> Better than the one from last night, that's for sure. That was ringing all over the place. Oh, that's the noon chime. Was it really that late already? Bah! I suppose I must turn away empty-handed for now. But I hope you're prepared, Schwarzer! I challenge you to a Pokemon battle- <laughs> No, I'm joking, sorry. <laughs> which is when this day is over, we'll know without a doubt which of our classes is the greater. Oh, I already know, but I guess you're about to find out. Looking forward to seeing your A-game. Huh, I think you overestimate your chances. Victory is as good as mine. I hope you'll be dazzled by my spectacular stage presence, Lady Elise. And assuming you'll be attending the after party this evening, it would be my pleasure to share a de- Master Patrick, I suggest we hurry to the auditorium. Your classmates are waiting for you. If you'll excuse us, Master Reen, Lady Elise. <laughs> Patrick's like, oh, got a jet. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's touching his katana <laughs> at the second. <laughs> All right, hee <laughs> hee, you go to school with some rather amusing people. I would have expected a son of one of the four great houses to be a lot less approachable than that. <laughs> well, class and tiles can always tell you so much. Getting to know uses and Angelica really drove that home. And Laura, don't forget Laura. At the end of the day, even the most distinguished nobles are more than just their family lineage. Though, I can't really say Patrick and I are the, on the best of terms. Well, if not a good friend, at least he seems to make for a spirited rival, judging by your exchange back there. It's so nice to see all these places you mentioned in your letters, too. I guess you really did make the right decision coming here, after all. Yeah, I really did. I feel like they have been chosen for Class 7, too. They give me an odd bunch, but I couldn't imagine my life without them now. Hehe. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around. I wish we could spend longer- <clears throat> Excuse me. I wish we could spend, um, longer together, but I know you're busy this afternoon. I'll be fine wandering around by myself for a few hours, so go on and start getting ready for your concert. Yeah, I'm really sorry to have to leave you flying solo. And maybe a little nervous now. How many other well-heeled nobles are going to crawl out of the woodwork to escort you to around the festival? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not a child anymore, you know. Tee, <laughs> the two of you really are the portrait of sibling affection. And the music cut off for some reason. Who is it? What? 
I know that voice anywhere. Ah, okay. Here we go. Y your Highness. And here's the the royalty music popping in now. And Prince Oliver, too. Good afternoon, your Highness. <coughs> oh, now everyone notices. That's kind of funny. Yeah, there's Claire as well. And Claire's like, all right, guys, just go enjoy yourselves. <laughs> it's like, yes, ma'am. Oh, wow, everyone's noticing now. <laughs> Token position, though it may be, I am the chairman of the board. It's only proper that I pay a visit. I would have liked to come yesterday as well, but I'm afraid I was tied up with a few official duties. Can you believe I had to beg him to take me along? But this is the festival. I couldn't miss it. In fact, I haven't seen you since we met at the summer festival. Right, it's a pleasure to see you again, your highness. Did you come as your as their escort, Captain? Basically, I was, at, I was asked to step in on short notice to handle the security detail. I've been told Class 7 is performing a concert this afternoon. <laughs> Best of luck with that. Th thanks. Oh yes, when will the concert be starting, by the way? I'm afraid I didn't have the time to do any research beforehand. They'll be starting around 3 p.m. Although, I think a number of the classes will be forming an operetta before that. Still, you could have at least told me you would be coming. This isn't the first time you've done this. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I was hoping to catch the two of you clutching each other in the torrid embrace of forbidden love. Hey now, we already have Dorothy. We don't need any more of this. <laughs> Unless you people are into vanilla stories instead of yaoi. <laughs> Alright, it sounds like your concert is shaping up to be a grand time, though. Would you mind terribly if I tore off my shirt and leaped on stage to join you all midway through? Did I read that right? Would you mind if I tore my shirt off and like... Well, um... Sure, I guess. But then we probably had to call a pedophilia cop or something. <laughs> uh, we're mostly just amateurs when it comes to music, so I'm not sure that'd be such a good idea. <laughs> He's actually thinking about this. You know, I don't see Major Vander around. Is he not with you today? Oh, wow, I actually noticed that too. Unfortunately not. You've probably heard a few rumblings about it already. But there, but there's been another development in the Crossbell situation today. I thought so. The Imperial Army is considering military action, aren't they? Well, try not to worry yourself about that right now. If it helps you put at, if it helps put you at ease, I can't really see there being war, regardless of what happens. The gulf in military power between our two nations is far too wide. It would be suicide for them to try to fight us. The Calvary Republic isn't standing idle either, so I imagine it'll end up a deadlock between superpowers. Under ordinary circumstances, I probably would have passed on coming today. But I thought that coming here with Alfin might actually help alleviate tensions. Governor Regnitz, Rufus, and Chairman Arena are all here as well. I would presume they share the same opinion. But right now, you get to a concert to give, and I want you to focus all your energies on making it one to remember. Not for me or Alfin, or even for your classmates. Do it for yourself. <clears throat> Thank you, your highness. We'll give it all we have up there today. What's all this chit chatting over here, you two? Care to let us in on your little gentleman's club? And spill the secrets of our man-to-man -man bonding? Perish the thought. <laughs> anyway, Alfin and I would be happily happy to escort Elise around while you're indisposed. We'll bring her along to your concert, of course, so you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, your highness. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'll be I'll be praying for your success. Hee <laughs> hee, I look forward to seeing you shine up there on the stage. Okay, cool. And of course, all, all of them are leaving. Okay, I guess I should head over to the auditorium now. We have to take care of some last minute preparations, and I suppose I should catch Class 1's operetta too. Oh shit, so it's- okay, wow, it's actually gonna start then, or are they gonna give us a chance to save? Who knows? I guess we'll wait and see then. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save, and it's actually- actually, we actually had a decent amount of time for this uh, section, so we're gonna go ahead and save now. And I'm gonna go ahead and split the part because it looks like we're about to we're about to see the awesome concert, guys. So this is gonna be great. I'm actually a little excited now. There we go. So chapter final chapter before class seven's concert. Very nice. <laughs> All right, we get to enjoy some awesome music. And 
my okay and i'll tell you guys this now he said there's gonna be another save confirmation after the concert and that's when i'll explain everything about what my friend wants me to do and hopefully we it, if it works we'll be able to see a, a certain few things afterwards but for now uh just give me one second and we'll be right back to see the concert for class seven guys it's gonna be awesome 